Blessings and Jesus, dear friends. My name is Jacob Prash. I'm a friend and brother of Pastor Peters, who was with us in Israel and at whose church I've been invited to speak a number of times. Again, I'm in Brisbane, Australia at the moment. I wish I could be with you, but that's not possible. But I'm certainly there in spirit and in heart. There's a few things I'd like to share concerning Pastor Peters, John, and his retirement that I hope are taken to heart, and I hope are indeed not just from my own heart, but are ordained of the Lord. You know, my heart has been broken, as I'm sure the heart of God has, so many times by what has become a popular Methodism in the UK and in other countries. I say that as a person who is theologically akin to the Wesleyan Armenian position, doctrinally, and as a tremendous admirer of John Wesley, whose journal I read avidly as a younger believer, um, many good things can be said about John Wesley and his brother Charles, but they warned what would one day happen to the Methodists if the exposition of Scripture was ignored. Well, it certainly happened. But carrying on the Methodist tradition, that was the tradition, of the Wesley brothers were individuals. And Pastor John Peters has been one of them. I thank God for him and his faithfulness. Without him and a few others like him, the light of Jesus that the Wesleys bought would have gone out a long time ago. He has indeed been a faithful servant of the Lord in this regard. But something else I'd like to add. There's a joke in my native New York. The only way to get out of the mafia is in a concrete kimono. You know too much. You never get out of the mafia. Once you're in, you're in. There's no getting out. Well, the ministry is the same thing. You know too much. Once you're in, you're in. There's no getting out. Pastor Peters will retire as the Circuit Methodist Minister in Alfredton. He will retire from that position, but he will not retire from the ministry. There is no retirement from the ministry. Let us remember the Apostle John in the Book of Revelation and Moses, they did their best work and most important work well after the age of what we would consider to be retirement. And my prayer and aspiration is that would be true as well for my brother and friend, John Peterson, and his dear wife. Again, I wish I could be with you, but I'm on the other side of the planet at the moment. Nonetheless, when I say retirement, I mean retirement in a qualified sense. I certainly hope Pastor Peters will continue preaching and continue preaching until the Lord comes, or the Lord comes for him and I, whichever happens first. There's no way out of this racket. There's no way out of this game. John, forget about retirement. I believe your most important work is still gonna be ahead of you. I would particularly pray at this time for the ongoing ministry in Alphabet, that as a good minister steps away that he would be replaced by another good minister that that church and the witness and testimony and the right doctrine that it has brought to alfredton would not cease with the retirement of john brother i can only wish you and your wife every blessing not in your retirement, that's not going to happen. But in getting on with the further things the Lord has for you to do. 
Those who wait upon the Lord will renew their strength, mount up like wings of eagles. You're going to run, not be tired, not become weary or faint. You've done a good job in Africa, and now you will do a good job as an itinerant speaker. We look forward to having you speak at a Memorial Conference next year in Alfreton, right up the road from you and Hayes. So don't travel away too far. Again, keep the church in Alfreton in prayer and pray for John and his wife that they be led of the Lord as to what the next stage is and the things that God has for them to do. Yes, he needs a rest. Yes, he can put his feet up, but he can't take his shoes off. That's just not the way it is for guys like us. Once again, every blessing in Jesus. I just want to leave John with the ironic benediction for him and his wife. John has been a tremendous friend of Israel and a lover of the Jewish people. And he stood with our ministry and our desire to see Jews saved and the church educated from the scriptures about the prophetic purposes of God for Israel. And so from the book of Numbers, chapter 6, and this is especially for John and his wife. In the name of the Lord Jesus, the Messiah, Shalom.